God, this list is getting long of planning. Who would even want to go with all this planning? All right, another thing, the time of the year. Is it summer? You can carry less stuff. You're going to be hot. Is it late fall? Might be cold, like here in Minnesota. Um, look at the season and look where you're going and see what the temperatures will be. Going online and looking at weather is, some people say it's useless. I like to have an idea of what I'm going to face weather-wise. How many days are you going camping? You go on one night or seven days. You got to think about that in relation with your food and your fuel, whatever your stove is going to be. If you're like me, I'm using an alcohol stove most of the time, so I want to think about my fuel, how much I'm going to bring, and if you're going to bring five, six, seven days of food, that entails another thought as well, which goes into the size of the pack you might want to carry. Two-day trip, eh, any good old pack will do. But when you start getting into longer trips, I have three backpacks I switch between. Sometimes, if it's cold weather and you got six days of food, you might really start maxing out. Think about this. If you're going with somebody else or there's four of you, are you going to share gear? Does one person carry a saw? Eh, you don't really need four saws. Are we going to share stoves or are we not? If you're tenters, a lot of people go, well, we're both going to be in the same tent unless you're the kind of tenters who are like hammockers and like to sleep alone. But sometimes you might have a big three-person tent for three people and one person carries the poles and one person carries the fly, and one person carries the tent. You can split that gear up, but always check on those other people to make sure they got it packed up. Don't ever assume that they will, not even if they're good experienced campers. Don't let it hurt your feelings if somebody comes over and looks over your shoulder. Make sure you packed it. It's just smart. It's prudent. You watch each other's back out there. Are you going to... Um, split food, maybe you're cooking big meals where it's a, it's a huge meal where one person's going to cook it. So you might be dividing your food up too. Now a guy like me, I have a lot of gear. I have it already half packed all the time. So when I want to take a trip, I grab and go because I have a strange schedule because I'm in show business. Sometimes a trip just comes up. I, two days before, my wife and I are talking and I go, you know, I, I think I'm just going to go camping. I, I don't really feel like doing anything this weekend and you're busy. So, you know, she might be busy with family or teaching at her circus school. So I said, I'm going to take two nights or go for a 36-hour trip. Bam, bam, bam. I pack it up and I go. If you're fairly new to it, test your gear if you can. Set it up in your backyard, in your house. Look at your gear. Get to know your water filter. If you've never set up your tent before, at least set it up somewhere so you kind of know what you're doing. I know most of you won't, and everybody says this, but if you can, do. If you've never hung your hammock, it's really smart, really smart to familiarize yourself with that first. So look over your gear, pack your pack, go through it, go take stuff out, don't fret about it too much. At the end of the trip, if you're new, you'll find things that you never used and you can decide if you're going to bring that next time or not. Leave an itinerary with someone. Every time I go camping, I take a piece of paper and I write, you know, I usually print the map out just so my wife knows where I'm going. And I write how many nights and where I think I'll be. I put my car, the make of my car. I put my, my tag number. I put my cell phone number. I put the number of anybody that may go with me. If, if I'm with Hickory, I put his number. And I don't do this so much for Meg. I do it actually in case I'm out on the trail and something were to happen to her and one of her sisters is at our house. And so I have a big thing up there that says, Sean is backpacking. And where I am and where, when I left and when I'm coming home. The dates I'm going to be there, my proposed route, and each night about where I think I'm going to be. And that way, if for some reason, and I hope it never happens, they have to come out there looking for me because something's happened at home. They got a basic idea where I am. Whew. Everybody's going to trip plan a little differently. I'm kind of a guy that wings things a little bit, but I, I go enough that I kind of know what I'm doing. Other people are very detail-orientated. I've seen people that have an itinerary with, uh, we're going to leave camp at 917, we're going to walk for one hour and 43 minutes, we're going to stop for a three-minute break, and then we're going to go on for another two hours and seven minutes, and then we're going to stop and fill our water bottles, and we'll take a moment to sigh and breathe, and, you know, that's, that's some people's style. Whatever your style is, do it, but plan it. But let me tell you this. Be ready to let that plan go sometimes, okay? 
Like I've always said, Mother Nature is going to dictate the trip. The weather. It might turn into a big storm or a snowstorm. Or you might get there and there's trees down all over the trail because there's been a storm. It might happen when you're out there. Some days you're not going to make the miles you thought you were for various reasons. Crossing water, a bridge is out, blow down, and you're having to go around, under, over trees. Um, and that's another thing to check. Find out if they've had a storm, because that happens a lot here, and is the trail clear? Like on the border route, you know, their site will let you know that, that they get a lot of storms up there. So find out things like that, what the trail conditions are. Superior Hiking Trail on their website, they usually give a list of trail conditions. What trailheads are open? Are there problems with bears in area? Has the trail been rerouted? Not every website does that. So all of these things, search online, get a map, do your work, enjoy your trip, plan it as much as you want to, go on the trip, have a good time, make notes of what you do right, make notes of what you do wrong, but let's focus on what you do right, but take heed on what you do wrong. You might be too cold, you might be too hot, you might have brought too much food, you probably didn't bring enough food, did you bring enough candy, you were thirsty the whole time, your feet hurt, you got blisters because you bought new boots and never wore them, it could be your socks, Get to know your socks. Woo, buddy! All secure in Sector 7! <laughs> what an ending. Well, might as well. That's my first balance on that table. I liked it. I liked it a lot.